today we've got in this 2013 VF Club Sport, a car that came standard with an LS3. Um, that was a while ago. We fitted this supercharger system and a full exhaust system, so full Manta twin 3 inch exhaust system uh, with a Hurricane inch and 7 8 headers on it. So that was at that level, that was a few years ago. It has been out playing pretty hard. This guy wants to go and play with things, does a bit of drifting, does a bit of quarter mile, does a bit of playing with it. <laughs> very well for a long time. We kept the power down because he was going to use it at 10 tenths. Uh, but power crews, enough of pushing it hard around the track, high revs, high power for a long time and this is what happened. It broke a piece of piston out. No detonation or anything of like that. Very nice in all how it was running but making too much power. Power in your cylinder, too much horsepower for is power is heat too much expansion on your top ring till the ring nips out, grabs and then tears the piece of piston off. Not uncommon for high power play um, with a standard engine um, if you're yeah, on that throttle for too long. So that's what he did. So the plot thickens just after that, pulled it down, planning on a stroker build, new pistons, forge, uh, the forged pistons, H-beam rods, um, stroker crankshaft, all the bits and pieces, mild camshaft and things that he was planning on doing anyway. So not really a negative apart from a broken race day, uh, but that was the plan until we found that what happens on occasion is that broken piston, that piece of piston came out and jammed between the piston and the cylinder head and actually cracked the block. So um, this man took it as a, a, a sign um, and went to the next step. He went to a block as well, so he put a cast iron dart block. This is the heavy duty version of the cast iron block, dart block um, with larger main studs and bits and pieces through it, so really good piece down there. And in doing that, we simply went to 427, um, so a 7 litre. After only a mild camshaft, did that, we did the 427 block, we did a head upgrade as well, so we could run the six bolt heads. There's the Texas Speed cylinder heads on here. Trunnion upgrade. Like I said, only mild camshaft, dual springs, bits and pieces like that, but all put it together in a form that was going to be very, very strong, but in mild boost. The only thing we've done otherwise in upgrades to this is put a better clutch in the thing, and then one change in the pulley size. So not pushing our boost by any means, it's going to be running mild boost, but let's show you what it actually runs. Um, our peak power, which we just saw at the 675 horsepower at the tyres, or 670 horsepower at the tyres. Now if we come back to where we started, 360 horsepower at the tyres, so made pretty good power. Standard air cleaner, standard exhaust, you see it rolling off at the top. Um, then that is the, that's the power we made with all the bits and pieces in this car. There's a fuel system in this car as well, but in, with a standard engine. So like I said, pretty nice safe power, the 575 horsepower at the tyres, um, went really nicely but enough hard play for long enough and then you see the sort of things that can happen. Um, what we've gone to, um, if you come over to the boost graph now, you'll see that it's actually the blue line, the underneath one is the boost now. So we've dropped all one and a half to two pounds of boost right across the range at the moment, so we're running even less boost um, because of the bigger engine. But if you look at our power, um, you can see the biggest point there, right at the four and a half, five thousand revs, it's even stronger. Um, but a good increase right across the range. We've got an increase almost like 
the supercharger on the engine as well um, and we're running super mild boost. This engine is probably capable of going through to over 800, well it is capable of going to over 800 rear wheel horsepower on good fuel, bigger supercharged systems, all that sort of stuff in the, in the 1200 sort of horsepower. Uh, but listen, this is really good power, it should go really nicely, it is deliberately left at this level. Um, we're actually targeting the 630 to 650 um, in a place to not go too far for what he does on the track side of things and learn it and set up the car and all the rest of it. So we've ov overshot that a little bit, um, a little bit by design. I'll always go with trying to aim a little bit higher to make sure you're going to cover your bases. Uh, but a very strong build, good solid, heavy block, um, good pistons, rods. Mild camshaft at this stage and very mild boost, but should go um, really well.